is up YouTube, this is T at T Productions Plays, and today we are playing Contra for the Nintendo Entertainment System for Retro Wednesdays. This is a game I played when I was growing up as a kid. Let's see if I remember anything about it. Also, we want to get a shout out to our a member shout out to a couple of scratchers for becoming a member. Thank you very much. Also, we will be doing a a members only giveaway at the end of October so if you want to get in on that you have to have your membership in by the end of October also we will be doing a live stream on our $10 frenzy tickets let's okay so this is a jungle level and I'm got a machine gun Oop, the guy's trying to shoot me and I've got the spread gun I do not like the machine gun but I like spread better it just works out a lot of, I don't like that fire gun that fire gun sucks this is a game that, this is one of the games that you had to have as a kid on our block. The other two games was was the original Ninja Gaiden series. Oh, I just got killed. That guy just jumped on me. It was the original Ninja Gaiden series and Jackal. This is also one of those games where um, you really had to watch out what you were doing and over, and if you could over, and you would over jump. If you did that, you would die. Let's grab that. I like the spread gun better because it, it, it hits a lot of people in, in a wide arc. Machine gun's good too. I don't like the fire gun, fire gun on this, it sucks. Um, also, here's another thing. Do you guys remember the Konami code? If you do, put it in the comment, comments section below. It did various things on different games. And also, do you guys remember blowing into the cartridges and the console because the game wouldn't work because you thought it was dust? Yeah, that's a running gag. It, it didn't do anything. Also, I also rem remember on some of the older games that you had to actually put, hold the reset and power buttons to actually save your game. I don't like these top down stages. It's, this is a difficult level. And you'll see, you'll have to see. I can't move forward on my own, I have to actually push up on the directional key to go forward. And then you duck the gun here and shot at you like that. This is where a good partner would come in handy, because then he can actually concentrate on the enemy fire and weapons while you concentrated on the eye to open that door there, and I got two guns on this side. You really had to duck and really move. These top down stages were pretty bad at that. Uh, let's see what else. Um, oh yeah, this is a place where you also had to dodge the logs here like that and duck and fire. You actually had to play peekaboo with the guns here to get away from them. This is also one of those games that you actually had to have um, a partner on um, just to just to keep the fire away from you and you couldn't do there was and the only multiplayer was actually couch multiplayer was couch um, co-op so you really had to have friends a brother a sister you couldn't really you there was no online gaming on this one also if you want if you if you needed a if you need to learn how to beat a game you actually had to actually ask someone who actually did beat the game or or just keep trying until you actually beat it that was a that was another thing you had to do and then there was also of course the game genie where you had um, a book full of codes that you could use to have infinite lives things like that and you could also make your own codes for different effects and this is one of the fun levels here if you actually had a, a couch a, a player um, playing with you. You can actually have him die multiple times here um, just by jumping, just keep jumping up the mountaintop here and leaving him behind. Yeah, that was that was a fun thing. You're like, hey, what'd you do that for? And he's like, I don't know, I just felt like it. Oh, I just died. See, like that? He just, he just fell off the edge like that. Spread gun's really good here. Um, I don't like the fire gun on this. It sucks. I wouldn't get it. Rapid fire really doesn't do anything for a spread gun, though. 
Oh, that guy was gonna jump on me. I had no choice but to get hit by the guy. I don't get hit by the bullet. I'd rather get hit by the, the bullet the, 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 than that guy. And then, of course, you had to actually work your way up by jumping on these little platforms here. Oh, that bullet's gonna try to catch me. We have those that guy. I'll spread down. Cool. You have guys hiding behind you, hiding, popping out. Like that water plate there, that guy's gonna jump on me. He's not much of a threat. Oh, there's a guy in there. Those, those guns are threats. I'm gonna stand right here and shoot this one. I'm gonna work my way over this way. Yeah, this is one of the games where you had nothing but um, great music and a wall of text to read to figure out what was going on. So you actually had to learn how, you actually had to know how to read if you wanted to know what was going on. So you had lots of reading to do. And I swear, this alien here, this boss here, looks like the alien from Aliens the movie. And I'm wondering what came out first, Alien or... Oh, I just got whipped. Alien or this game came out first. Oh no, it's gonna try to kill me. Now we can just shoot his mouth. Watch for those. I'm gonna stand right here. This is the best place to stand. Yeah, if you really wanted to beat these games, you really had to memorize so it took you days instead of hours to beat because there was no walkthroughs and no YouTube videos on how to do things I just completed that level stage 4 base 2 uh, it's another top-down stage I don't like these I hate them there's the logs and bullet oh, another one they're all shooting at me and you also had to lead you also had to lead the um, enemies to your shots on this one. This is not too difficult one. Just stay ducking. Shoot here. Take that guy out. See, there's there's little logs that they're throwing at you. I don't know what we call them rolling pins, logs. And this gun's going to be a pain, but no. You got the guy. Now you can just stand up and shoot. Watch him. Yep. So, what games did you guys play when you grew when you were growing up? Leave that in the comment section also. It'd be interesting to see. Yeah, there's no more logs here. There's a guy that just jumped out and tried to shoot me. Log coming at me. Those, more, those look like more like rolling pins than logs. Gun. More rolling pins. I'll call them just rolling pins. See, look at that. He just ran away from me. Let's get this gun out of the way. Rolling pin. Grenade. Yeah, this one I have to jump and shoot. Get in here. Now we've got guns galore. Stay ducking. Kind of take a few shots at it while I can. Rolling pin. More rolling pins. I don't want whatever you're giving me. I want to keep my spread gun. Alright, this is for also a good partner. Would be nice to have. With all these bullets coming at me. There, we got rid of that. These guys actually jump on you. All right. Yeah, this is this is a great place to have um, a spread gun or a partner because then you can take care of those those bubbles, those homing bubbles on you, and actually while you concentrate on shooting the, the robotic heads, which is nice. But for a single player with spread gun, no problem. See, so look at that. I just cleared that, and. And in, back in these days, you didn't have a life bar or continues. You only had uh, extra lives and, or, or the lives that you had to actually complete the game with. So yeah, it was pretty easy to get a game over with. Oh, see, he came from behind. I don't like this level at all. Oh, they're going to try to give me a machine gun. I want to get away from that. Guy coming from the back of, to the back of me. Oh. Also, guys would pop out of nowhere, up, see, just like that. I was running forward instead of actually dropping down here. 
This level is full of them. There's a rapid fire, which doesn't do me any good, but actually, ooh, he tried to, he tried to get me in the back. Ah, that explosion. Area effect. Let's get, ah, uh, okay, that's it. I'm, I'm jumping over through here. No, wait. There we go. We made it. Oh, another guy there. Bombs galore. No fire gun for me, thank you. Alright, let's get that. Oh, man, he hit me. That was a long shot. So we grab that. Got it, good. Guy's coming over here. Then try to pull me. Oh, he just blew me up. Also, if you push forward while dying on while coming back to life, you can actually die again. You get two deaths in one if you're not careful. Oh, this machine. I hate this machine. This car machine. He's gonna try to shoot me. I gotta kill him before he shoots. Uh, he's gonna shoot. Oh, oh it's gonna be close. Let's see if I can kill it before it shoots me. Yes, I got it. Spread good comes handy there. There's gonna be a guy somewhere out coming from behind me. Yeah, you really have to be on your toes on these games like this. And you have to be fast on the on your fingers too, on the controls. Here comes another car for this level. Now let's see if we can get back here and shoot it. He's too close to me. Let's see if I can't kill it before it kills me. Oh, he last he released one bullet. <sighs> oh, guy, gotta watch out for that. Another guy on more bombs. Also. Is there another thing? You can make it really difficult for your for your partner on these games because some games, if you died off, you could actually steal their life, their lives, um, and so you would actually make it hard for him to complete the game because you actually stole his, his life. All right, what do we got here? Robot? No, this is the ship. This is the ship boss. Let's take care of the ship. Spread gun works really nice here. Just shoot. Stand somewhere and safe and shoot at it. We about one side. Not too hard. So there's only two top-down levels. Okay, we're on that stage six energy zone. This is a dangerous level because the environment can kill you on this one. So we got to be really careful. Let's see if we can do this. There's going to be a guy right here. What gun is that? Oh, machine gun. I don't want it. I want to jump over it. All right. Guy right there, a guy coming from the back, guy right there. And they just keep coming. They don't stop. They do not stop. You have to drop down here like that. There's gonna be another. Let's get up here on top. Alright, there's the environmental. I have to go down to the bottom. I don't want that laser gun. Oh, that laser got me. Okay, so we're gonna get here close like this. Wait for it. Oh, guy coming. Let's get out of here. There we go. Duck. Shoot that, shoot that, get up in the middle. Oh, man, I need a laser. Oh, there was a guy there. Alright, so we're gonna stay at the bottom. Dodge this laser. Duck. Get in close. Duck. Go. This next one's gonna be difficult. Stay here. Jump down. Duck. Go up here. Watch the bullet. This laser's gonna come at us. See if we can't get that barrier. It's going to be difficult. Oh, didn't get it. Well, we can get it now. There we go. Sometimes you have to sacrifice a guy to get the barrier. Because it does protect you. Makes things easier for you. To... Right, he's going to shoot. Get up here and take care of him. Laser. Another laser. Guy coming at us from the back. Alright, wait for it. Down here like this. Guy from the back. Run forward. Duck. Yeah, they're really poor not pouring it on. I wonder how Red. I wonder how Red Falcon got all these guys. This laser comes all the way down. Get up here. There's gonna be a guy shooting us. Nope, this is a robot. I hate this robot boss. It's really a pain in the butt. He's coming at us. We have to jump over him. There's barely enough room to do that. By the way. So you gotta really. Oh, he's gonna throw discs at us. He's gonna throw another one. Oh, oh, cool. He's gonna try to pull on me. Oh, stay on your own side, will ya? Quit coming after me. Alright, so we made it through the energy with minimal problems. 
we are on stage seven, the hangar. Another place that we gotta be careful of the environment because it can kill us. All right, so this is one, two, one, two, go. I don't want that fire again. Oh crap, we're gonna get, try to give it to me. I'm going top side on this one, just cause it's easier. And we can dodge that guy right there. And things do pop, oh, look that guy, he just shot right through that. All right, let's take care of this. This guy's gonna try to jump down. He's gonna come definitely at us. These guys just don't stop coming. I wonder how Red Falcon got all these guys to come after me. All right, another environmental wall coming up at me. He's gonna jump up and try to shoot me. All right, get close as we can, wait for it, move forward, wait for it, move forward, take care of that guy, take care of this. Watch what we're doing here. We want that barrier, so we're gonna use this cart here to get it. Then we're gonna go down here, pull out the cart, let's get moving. Why the barrier's still up? All right, we want this cart, duck. Blow that one up. Guys, we're gonna try to shoot us. We just still got the barrier on. Go up to here. Oh, that I'm stuck at the bottom. Dang it. Oh well, we don't want that gun anyway. We don't want to go. All right, so we have to go through the bottom, which is gonna be very difficult. Okay, so let's see here. Come on down. One, two, three, four. This one's gonna stay like that. Oh, dang it. Now we're stuck at the top. All right, we'll go through the top. It's gonna be a wall that pops up. Here we go. Also, this game also had button mashing on it. So it's one, two, one, two, one, two, go. Guy's gonna shoot us right here. Oh, he shot twice, dang it. Missed the second bullet. Uh oh, here we go. Oh man, they're, they're locking me up. All right, let's get through here. Make sure there's no more wall. Oh, dang it. The wall got me. All right, so we're gonna sit right here in, in a safe zone. Just stay back and shoot this. Just dodge right here. Just keep dodging. Oh man, the explosions got me. Okay, so the wall. The explosions can kill me. I don't really watch that then. Okay, I think we're good right here. Oh, no, we're not. Gotta watch for that. Okay, we got it. Not too bad there. Alien Slayer. Alright, we're on the last level. This is a, this is a fun level. Oh, we're gonna miss that barrier. Oh, dang it. Alright. Oh, also, if you on these games, if you weren't careful, you could over you could over jump. The aliens are coming after us. I swear that guy does look from the alien movies. I swear it. This is why we carry a spread gun. Just for this reason. Alright, come on. Alright, got rid of that. Those things are dangerous. But I can get to the middle of them and shoot them all. Which is, which is nice. Yeah, you gotta be careful with your jumps because you can over, over jump and die. Spread gun. I'm glad I can reach this guy from here. It's better to just to hang back and just take care of them from the back. Oh, that one got me. I wasn't back far enough. Now I am. Look at these face huggers. And we completed it. Did 
good job. And now we get a cutscene of the of the island blowing up. There it is. And then we get text for an ending after this. And I'll show you. It says here, congratulations, you've destroyed the vile red falcon and saved the universe. Consider yourself a hero. And that's all we get. Like, subscribe, share, comment, and TFT Productions will see you again in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.